guys, so this is what if Subaru was a Power Ranger part two, guys. Now I'm going to be continuing this with episode four and five and maybe six if I'm feeling it. But let's just get into it, guys. Now, um, last time, I used to have, oh, sorry, guys, um, last time I did get some stuff wrong about, you know, Felt's relationship or the Felt's feelings towards Subaru and a couple other stuff like a little tweaks i changed her you know personality a little bit but basically from that point we continue with season we continue with season one episode four let's get into it guys subaru wakes up in the morning being shocked at what happened the previous night as subaru gets up you pretty much see that he looks around he's shocked like he wasn't original but basically what would happen from that point subaru would have looked at the girls, and they would have been, you know, shocked, kind of scared, but Subaru would have just walked it off. Subaru would have walked away from them, and basically what would happen after that would basically be similar to the original. Basically, after that, get hit with the intro, and what happened afterwards is Subaru would have still gone to the library. Basically, in this original canon, him just being, you know, just fed up with the girl, so basically, he would talk to her the same way, but it would have dodged out of most of her moves. And basically, when she pushed her, when she pushed, you know, Saru out of the window, pretty much Saru would have landed a Superman pose onto the concrete instead of the grass. Basically, we said Saru would have, you know, walked or pretty much would have crossed paths with Re and base not Re, but would have walked cross paths with the princess. And basically, she would have, you know, so Saru, are you okay? Subaru would say, yeah, I'm fine. Basically, her being kind of, you know, impressed about Subaru's, well, acrobatics. And that he landed, like, flawlessly out of the window. But basically, she asked, well, you know, why did you jump out the window? Because in her perspective, it looked like Subaru jumped out the window. Because, like, he landed perfectly. But pretty much, Subaru and the princess talk somewhere the same. And basically, they do spend time together at the, pretty much, was, they do spend time together the garden, and a bunch of other stuff. Their relationship becomes a little bit more, not like, it doesn't become, you know, you know, super big, but basically they become more friends, or better, you know, better acquainted. What would happen at that point is Subaru would have still chose himself to be a, you know, chef, same way, and the day where he would go about the day trying to figure out what was going on, what was happening. He would ask the princess, or not the princess, but he would ask the librarian for help, and basically she would give him help the same type of way. He would get told about the cur curse, and basically he would have said, the curse, what are you talking about? And original, Subaru didn't have to relive a day because, well, he didn't get bit by the dog, or basically he dodged at the dog's way and didn't get bit by it. But basically what would happen from that point Super would have done, sorry guys, my video blocked out. Basically, the day would go similar the same. Nothing would really change as much as original, except for one small detail. Basically, what would happen is, Super would still be told about the curse, about pretty much a curse from the librarian. He would also be told about the witches by, I think, Ree's sister, or the redhead, the, the pink-haired, Made. I do not bother knowing her name because she 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 just sucks as a character. I don't like her as a character. Like she's just the meanest throughout the whole series. I just hate her. But basically, Subaru goes out on the town, basically trying to trying to you know leave, going on his own path. He leaves the castle, and that night he spends the night on a near a nearby roof clearing. Basically, he's spending the night there and camping out there. That night, when the sun goes down, he get, he starts to get attacked by some sort of crazed lunatic with a mace. As he falls down by, pretty much, he falls down by a, was a rope that he originally made in canning. He would have ran down into the forest, basically getting ready to transform. As he was walking around, he would still have a knife in his hand. And he would have been looking around, thinking about, you know, who tried to attack him. As he would stop and look back to try to fight. Him taking off his jacket and getting ready to morph, he would have looked and basically would have waited for them to come out. As they would 
you know, start to come out, or they would, well, strike at Subaru. Subaru would have dodged out the way, and basically would have transformed after he dodged the, well, mace. Basically, Subaru would have gotten transformed and would have started to fight back. He would have pulled the mace and would have pulled it forward, bringing the girl out of the shadows, and this girl would be shown to be, well, none other than Ree's sister, the red-haired girl, the pink-haired girl. And basically, she would have walked towards Subaru and would have started to attack him. And Subaru would have looked at her and basically would have been shocked at what he was seeing. And pretty much when he was seeing this, he assumed it was the red-haired girl. But when he looked closer, he saw it was Re. Basically, Subaru would have been completely shocked because he had a liking to Re. He liked, he liked her as a friend at this point in the story. Basically, Subaru would have looked at her and would have been shocked and would have asked her, why? Why are you trying to kill me? She would have said something about him being a spy and how this was the assignment she had to do or this is what she had to do. Basically, Subaru would have looked at her all, you know, just straight up confused and would have looked at her with, you know, anger in his eyes and basically would have looked at her saying, saying, really? Basically, he would hear her out on her reasoning why she was doing this and why she went and why she had to kill Subaru or why she wanted to kill Subaru. Subaru talks to, well, Re and basically finds out that, well, he he now knows Subaru. Re never really trusted him and he's heartbroken by this fact. What he would do instead of taking his phone out, he would have he would have straight up just sucker punched Re upside the forehead. And would have ran for it. Would have booked it. Basically him not really wanting to, you know, beat the ever living doo doo water out of Reed. Because, you know, well, he is, well, you know, Subaru with a literal Power Ranger form. Like, come on. As Subaru would fall down to the ground, basically he would have dodged out the way. And his foot wouldn't been cut off. He would have dodged perfectly out of the way of the attack. As he would look up, he would see that Re would have looked at him and basically would have started to attack him even more. What would happen is Re would have hit pretty much or would have slung her mace towards Subaru and Subaru would have hit her upside the head and basically they would have started to fight again and again, then throwing and pretty much dishing out punches left and right. What would happen is Subaru would have started to win the fight, him kicking Re into trees, throwing her around. And just being like the like literal, just beating her senseless. Rhea would have eventually thought about giving up because she was getting beat, but she would have tapped into her demon side. She would grab Suru and would have chucked him into the ground. Suru would have looked up and basically would have swooped her legs, basically making her fall onto the ground. She would kick her or punch her straight in the middle of her chest, pushing her back. She would have looked at Re she would have looked at Subaru and she would have, you know, striked at Subaru. Subaru would have dodged more and more, basically him knowing that he could win this fight anytime. Or he could win this fight. He knows he can. What he would do is he would fight Re more and more, but eventually Re would have gotten the upper hand. And Re would Subaru would be on the ground and he would be beaten the same way as an original, and he would still have that talk with well Re. Basically that character development or us seeing Ree's true colors. Ree would have said the same thing. And since Subaru would be in his ranger form still on the ground, he wouldn't be badly hurt, but he wouldn't be able to get up at that point. Subaru would have looked at her and she would have started to cry a little bit, both of them crying a little bit, and their eyes flinching. And well, Subaru would have looked at her and basically would have known that he had to die to see how it turned out to see if he can change things so he detransformed and let re kill him and that's how it would play out the same way Subaru would wake up the next morning and he would have you know just been shocked just not just being blank expression he would wake up seeing re and her sister Basically, Subaru looking at them with disgust a little bit, but him hiding it with a clean smile of face. He would talk to the princess in his bed this time, and basically would have talked to her. 
But what happened is Subaru would have took this the smarter route and basically would have tried to tell well the princess about, you know, his power about going back in time. But, you know, something would clinch on his chest. You know, basically what would happen or his heart. Basically what would happen is Subaru would keep his mouth shut and would have played it safe and would have taken the route of the episode similar to the same. Him doing the same thing. He would have talked to the librarian the same type of way. She would have told him the same thing. And the episode would have gone somewhere the same. Exactly the same, to be precise. Basically, you'll see that Subaru would have, well, get teleported to the library. And basically would have been told, you know, how he could change things. If he could change things. What would happen, he, he would get cornered. Or he would see that Re would have died in this timeline. Something would have happened. Something different happened. What would happen is Subaru would have tried to touch her. And pretty much Re's sister would, would smack his hand away. Subaru would have dodged out of her way of the hand smack. And basically she would have been confused. And you know like how'd you dodge it? But she wouldn't really be worried about that. She would just be crying over her dead sister. What happened is Subaru would walk off, walk away, and he would hear the, you know, my master of the house talking trash. Or, well, not talking trash, but he would be talking about Re and, you know, how she just died of weakness. She just, is if she just fell asleep, a curse, if you could say. And Subaru would have instantly ruled her out as a shaman. And basically, as, as, what was it? Subaru would have ruled her, ruled her out as the shaman because it couldn't be her. She's dead because of the same curse. What would happen is it would go the same way. And basically, you would see that, well, Ri's sister would have tried to or would have started to attack Subaru. Subaru would have, Subaru would have transformed in that instant. Him straight up, you know, would have... Well, a transform in that instant, him just not, you know, putting up with it. He would have transformed into his ranger form and would have dodged out the, well, blast. Basically, before the librarian can jump in, Subaru would have, well, sprinted towards her sister and would have literally knocked her. I mean, would have rolled her up like a freaking tuna roll, bro. A tuna sandwich. She, like, she was folded and she was pet away. Bro, she was punched down to the ground, and she was dropped like an omelet, bro. She fell down to the ground, and would have looked at the Subaru, being confused on how fast Subaru moved and reacted. Subaru would have looked at her, and basically we would see that the, well, well, the master of the house, or the lord of the house, would have been, you know, having a little bit of a struggle, or would have been trying to fight Subaru. She would have... Guy in Elton Rage would have cried and told and asked her, you know, just leave now. Like, you know, my sister's dead because of you or whatever. Subaru would have not taken this lightly because he would be a little bit more hard hearted and basically would have looked at her and as she put her hand up to try to kill Subaru again, he would have punched her out and knocked her out clean. I mean, in this canon, she would n he would knock her out clean because, but it's simple. She, she has a strong character. I just don't like her. She's just not a likable character. I'm sorry. If you if you like her as a character, you don't have good taste in anime characters. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm for real though. What would happen is, well, some pretty much the room would have blasted out in energy. The librarian also stepping in, and the room would have gone up in flames. Basically, explosion going on. Subaru would have survived it and would have just sprinted out of the castle. Him taking his stuff with him. As he would sprint away from the castle, far, far away, he would look back and basically would have been a little bit out of breath, but not as much as he would in canon since, you know, the Power Ranger form does, you know, enhance his run, his, his stamina and his speed and reaction time, stuff like that. As, well, as he would walk or run into a grassy field, he would come across something, he would come across a, what is it, not something, he would come across a well cliff as you look on this cliff he would think about you know pretty much how he should do it should he just kill himself and restart but basically what would happen is he would wake up and the librarian would have been there would have talked to him the same way basically Subaru being standing up this 
standing up in this cannon since he would still be transformed. And what happened is Subaru would have, well, was it Subaru would have been confused and would have tried to remember Ling Nyo about the about the curse, about everything, about you know the maids and what and whatnot. And what would happen after that? We see that the librarian and Subaru would have been confronted by Reed's sister. Her energy going off the charts this time, and basically her be preparing to kill Subaru. Subaru would still be in, you know, transformation form. He would have moved pretty much, what was it, the librarian girl out of the way. And basically would have looked at, looked at Rim, Re, Rim, Re, Rim, I think, yeah, Rim. No, Rim is the, Rim is the, Rim is the blue-haired girl. And Re is, I think, the sister. So basically what would happen is... Well, Subaru would have gotten into a fighting stance and would have told her to do your worst. But basically, him literally, you know, just saying, you know, you're not going to beat me. Him trying to antagonize her. But basically, as she would go for a final finishing blow towards Subaru, Subaru would have dodged out the way, would have socked her upside the jaw one more time, giving her that right, right hook, a left hook, over and over and over again. And what would happen is Subaru would have Punch her down to the ground and said, so the same thing he did originally, and would have looked at her, and would have winked under the, winked under the helmet, basically just moving his helmet like he was winking, and would have sprinted off the cliff, de transforming, basically him, well, trying to redo it. And what would happen? Subaru would wake up the next day, and how, and he would do it all over again and try, to figure out, you know, everything. Try to figure out how it would all work. We move to episode 5. And Subaru wakes up in the same room. What would happen is. Subaru would have woken up. And basically would have looked at the two sisters. And would have. Well. Started to cry a little bit. Basically the sisters would have came towards him. And told him you know you feeling well sir. Subaru would have to grow, grabbed both of their hands. And basically. Would have remembered. Basically. Well. Pretty much Subaru. Would have gone through the day. Similar to the same. Basically. It playing out nearly the same. Subaru doing the same thing over. And over again. Him still picking out the chef jobs. Him still picking out the chef. The chef job. Him coming across Puck. And basically him spending time with the princess. And the episode going somewhere the same. Us just speed blitzing past this. What would happen is they would still talk about, you know, Subaru's transformation. Or Subaru's, you know, power manager. Or how he gets his powers and blah, blah, blah. Him having a little bit of more of an interesting conversation with the princess. Episode would have still gone similar to the same. Basically him, you know, talking to the librarian the same way. And basically what would happen is Subaru would have still asked... Or would eventually, you know, asked out Re, you know, if she wanted to go out. Base, I don't know, would have asked out the princess if she wanted to go out in this canon earlier. Because he has a little bit more confidence in himself. And what would happen is, basically, he would also, he would also, you know, pretty much do the same thing, kind of. The episode going similar the same and doing the same thing. Basically... When the princess would have comforted Subaru to go to sleep that night, basically Subaru and the princess would have looked in each other's eyes and would share a moment. A very intimate moment. Nothing like kissing or anything like that. Just a moment. A look, like a deep look into the eyes. You know how you would like a deep look into the eyes. But what happened is Subaru would cry as well. And that emotional scene would have happened the same way, just in a different type of well, position. Basically, Subaru would have looked at her in the eyes. She would have looked at him. And basically, they would actually kiss like a lot sooner in this original or in this iteration. Because Subaru would be a little bit more slick with his talking and would have not won her over, but would have had her more into him already. Basically, Subaru would have, well, talked to her 
you know, because I want, you know, I want to love that I would have loved in peace and blah blah blah. And the episode would have ended off there. And basically, Subaru, you know, kissing her, and pretty much the episode would have left, left off there. After that, it would see that Subaru would have still would have been back on her lap, basically asleep this in the same cannon. Basically her, you know, blushing a little bit as she, you know, is what was it, caressing Subaru's head as he's sleeping on her lap. Man, Subaru, lucky, bro. But basically, nonetheless, nonetheless, basically, we see that Subaru wakes up the next morning, and night, and pretty much the time malign goes to his advantage. He, you know, survives the survives the night, and it goes well, somewhere the same, exactly the same, actually. <laughs> what would happen at that point? This episode goes somewhere the same. Subaru would have gone on that date uh, with the princess. Subaru would have gone to the town. And basically would have met up with the dog. The pretty much episode would have gone, well, actually exactly the same at that point. What would happen is that night... Basically, something would go down, and that night when when you well, you know, what happens what happens, and when the and when the demons show up or the hellhounds attack or the monsters attack, when Reed tries to save, when Reed saves Subaru, Subaru grabs her as he you know because in this canon he would be transformed. Doing when the you know monsters attack, and basically when we try to save him or pushing her out the way of the avalanche, pretty much Subaru would have grabbed her hand and would have pushed her or would have pulled her pulled her with him, and basically moving out of the way of the you know avalanche, and basically saving them both or saving saving all three of them because the little girl he was saving as well. Basically, what happened is what would happen is. Subaru would have made a misstep and would have fell into the avalanche anyways. And what would happen is, well, Ri would have showed her demon side again. Because in this canon, she never, she knows, she does, she doesn't know that she showed Subaru. Because Subaru already knows. Because he did, you know, he dropped her. Pretty much the first, you know, encounter when she tried to kill him. She would transform into her demon side. And basically would have fought again. Would have you know shown off her horn, basically Subaru looking at her and witnessing this. Basically Subaru still being in transformation form, he would have witnessed this. Basically him looking around and not really you know doing anything, but just watching her completely like obliterate and eviscerate all these hellhounds, killing them all, basically with like a minimal effort. A bunch of hellhounds would have gone for super would have gone for pretty much what was it rim and super would have pushed her out the way and basically the hellhounds would have started to bite on rim or would have bit on Subaru. Subaru would have kicked them off of him basically punching them off of him and pretty much him not dying in this cannon and him well him not you know re being snapped out of it because Subaru would have pushed her out the way but he would have not you know, get a little bit mauled on by the monsters, and, you know what, I'm not gonna end it off here, let's get, let's get this episode six, Subaru would have woken up that day, or would have woken up later, basically, sorry guys, Subaru would have not woken up, he would have already been woken up, because, well, he wouldn't be knocked out, or be in a hospital bed from the following night, basically, Subaru, just, you know, chilling, relaxing, and basically what would happen is Subaru would have had a little bit of scratches underneath his suit, but not enough to actually leave any permanent scars or any type of scars at all, just a little bit of pain, but basically Subaru would have, wo- Subaru would have woken up because he did take a nap that night, and basically would have came across Rim, I mean Re, and he just... You know, does not letting Reed talk to him. He just didn't want to hear it. 
that night the villagers would be talking, and basically the, the episode would have gone similar the same. Just the whole episode going on, Subaru, just for the rest of the entirety of the episode, just him being in his transformation, or in his ranger form. Just the whole episode being like that. Basically, we see that Subaru would have, you know, taken out his two daggers, and would have gone to the forest, and basically he would see Rim shredding the, you know, hellhounds apart. Basically, Subaru would have tried to convince Rim to stop, and would have one on one gone in a fight with her. Basically, last time he, last time he allowed her to win, but if she really gone all out, he could, well, technically, possibly take her out. Or he, but basically. We see that Subaru would have still been told about the backstory of Ri and Rim and their childhood and how they're demons and stuff. Basically, we see that Subaru basically would have would have gotten the whole backstory of their childhood and everything. Subaru would have fought against Ri or Rim and basically would have well, tried to convince her to stop. And as she would stop, he would make a plan. His plan would just go and get guns blazing because, well, Subaru can do this. Subaru would summon his two daggers or his two, you know, power grid powered daggers and would have, well, gone in a three, a three person army with, you know, Rem and Ri and him, taking down the leader of the, taking down the leader of, well, the Hellhounds, pretty much him winning one-on-one. -on -one. He would have taken down the Hellhound with one fi final blast, basically taking down the Hellhound and cutting it into right down the middle. Because in this iteration, the Lord would have burned the dead corpse of the Hellhound, S Subaru actually just taking it down and, you know, killing it. Basically, Subaru would have fell into the ground, him being exhausted, and pretty much him you know, de-transforming. What would happen is, after that, Ri and Rim would have felt, would have gotten a more foul respect for him, especially Rim, and pretty much wake up the next day with Rim basically right back, right near, you know, pretty much Saru's bedside, and she would see Saru as an equal, basically seeing him as an equal person in terms of strength, skill, and just overall everything, because, well, Subaru would have proved himself to her by helping her and, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, actually just helping her physically. Just, you know, while he was restraining her, trying to break her out of it, her demon side. Basically, episode would have gone some of the same, and Rim would have looked at pretty much Subaru, and she would have thought about it, but would have walked off. Basically, Subaru... You know, seeing that look in her eyes, and Ri did think about kissing Subaru, but basically, she would, you know, walk off, and basically, before she walked off, Rin, pretty much Subaru would have told her what she wanted to hear, and she would still give Subaru the same speech, and basically, Subaru and Rin would have shared that, you know, the, the character development moment, and their relationship would become better. And that's where I'm going to leave off to the end credits where we see Ri and the Master, or the, what was it, Lord of the House talking about Subaru. That night, Subaru would have come across, you know, pretty much the princess and would have talked to her the same way. He would have talked to her, would have flirted with her, and they would have kissed on pretty much, well, the land. They would have kissed, and she would have looked at him, and they would both have a little bit of mixed emotions. But basically, I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. If you guys don't like how I'm trying, if you guys don't like how I'm accelerating the emotion or the, you know, f well, the, if you guys don't like how I'm basically, you know, accelerating r Rim, I mean, accelerating Rim, the princess, and Subaru's relationship with each other, um, yeah. I just feel like the only thing I made a flaw with. And part one was the whole entire thing about Felt and, you know, yeah, Felt still sees, you know, Subaru as, or later on, will still see Subaru as a brother figure. Because not like a, a love interest or anybody she would like, 
you know, intimately. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any tweaks with my video, just go down in the comments. And next video I'm gonna be uploading after this video is gonna be what if, well, what if Deku was Batman? And also be uploading um, part three to what if, well, you know, part four, part three to what if Robin was a Power Ranger. I also will be uploading. I also will be uploading new anime. What if? I'm gonna be uploading what if Subaru was a speedster. Now I feel like I make Subaru a little bit too OP, so I'm putting that one on a hold. And for other things, um, I also made what if Katsuki or what is it? What if Kat Kans Katsuba Katsuba Kans Kazuma. Kazuma from Kazuma from the um what was it? Or oh, Kazuma had the Alan Tricks what if I was making. Basically, I am working on a what if on what if he was Kryptonian or what if he was a vampire. But I'm also working on a Gotham what if on the TV show. Something about how I was gonna change Bruce Wayne into being a, a metahuman or having Gotham take place in the same universe as the CW. And I'm pretty sure it, it has hinted at that, but basically, what I'm trying to say here is that I might change the story up and pretty much make a what if Bruce Wayne from the Gotham series was like a vampire or, you know, some sort of modified Hugo Strange or Hugo Strange modified him when he, you know, hit him with that, well, you know, sleeping gas. But basically, yeah, guys, if you guys want to see a Gotham what if, I'm working on one. But if you guys really want to see a Gotham what if, like, based on the series, um, just hit me up in the comments. But, uh, see you guys later. Bye, and as always, guys, have a blessed day.